Hey everybody, Gravy Train here with another episode of Gravy Training. So, we got the new hero. Everybody at this point has probably seen him. Um, I'm doing this on the test server, even though it's technically after the hero has been released, because I don't have the hero yet. Um, the hero is good. Um, I'm just concerned about the portal cost and drop rates and all that stuff. So I'm waiting and seeing what happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, the hero is solid. So it is Yan Lu. Um, it is a slow honor bound caster. Uh, dark. Uh, legendary. Uh, not surprisingly. Uh, the stats, so I have him ruined heavy for defense, which I'm thinking more and more is probably the way to go. You can do offense with him as well, but defense currently seems to be working. And the stats are as follows. He is slow, just like his brother. Oh, this is Jin Lee's brother, by the way. He is honorbound, so he takes less damage from AoE attacks and buffs last an additional round. He has Mutual Help, so whenever an ally uses an ability that applies a debuff, this hero will heal 15% of their base health. So that's a nice little bonus, considering a lot of heroes provide debuffs. Soulless Scourge, this is the undead thing. I don't know why he has this, but he does. So He's Mystical 3, boosted damage versus tanks and slow targets. This one right here is the good one. Um, Immortal Bond 2. So all dark and honor bound heroes gain 25% damage reduction plus 20 attack. 20% attack against silenced targets. So only against targets that actually are silenced. Uh, but that's still, considering you partner him up with Jin, um, still pretty good. I mean, he will effectively round one with Jin on his team be at like 90% damage reduction between the Shroud buff and uh, and all of this and Jin's stuff and everything else. So pretty gross. Um, and, then, and then, again, silence targets and, and honor bound heroes gain Shrouded for one turn. Pretty darn good. Shadow Purge. Purge debuff on the lowest defense hero after each turn. There are no debuffs on that hero. Add plus defense for three turns. Bad. Epic defense. Whenever another ally is shocked or paralyzed, this hero and any honor bound hero will make a retaliation basic attack on the enemy attacker. This cannot be an epic proc. But they will all do basic attacks on whoever attacked anytime they shock or paralyze. That's also pretty darn good. Uh, and then on abilities. So his basic attack is a typical basic attack, except it has um, a chance to apply a random debuff. Now, if that debuff can't be applied on the target, it doesn't ignore immunities. But um, it does apply a random debuff, so it could set somebody on fire, or it could silence, or it could disease, or it could whatever. His first special, uh, which takes three energy cost, so that can come up pretty quick. Um, it's a ranged dark attack on an enemy for 4200 base damage, so that's good. Reduces the attack of melee heroes by 50% for three turns. And deals double damage against ranged heroes. So that's like 8,400 damage against ranged heroes. It also, and this is the important part, reduces target's evasion to zero for three turns. And that attack cannot be dodged. There's still bugs right now with the cannot be dodged in Aria with um, Sand in the Eyes, which is just broken in both the metaphorical descriptive m m uh, way as well as the, like, there's bugs with it sort of way. 
Um, so, yeah. Ideally, though, this will stop Arya from dodging. Period. Or any other hero. <clears throat> Murky Shield is a ranged shield piercing Ooh. dark attack on an enemy target for 1400 base damage. It activates Murky Shield on self, which grants paralysis and silence immunity for three turns. And enemies cannot trigger revenge hits on this hero while the shield is up. So pretty good. And then finally, Fog of War. Sadly, they didn't take my name suggestion for this, and they didn't call it He Who Smelt It. But it is a ranged dark attack on the enemy team. Cast a deadly fog on the enemy team, dealing 1400 base damage, and applies disease to all enemies. Allies take 50% reduced damage from epic attacks for three turns. So all those Arya counters are going to be 50% weaker. Um, Ponty attacks and, and everything else, all of those attacks are going to be 50% damage reduction right off the top. So that is the hero. Um, I can't really do PvP. I mean, if I get the hero leveled up to 5 stars myself, um, which we'll see what happens, uh, then I will do some battles. But generally, the team that I've been looking at is all Honorbound, or Honorbound and Rayla. And you use Deadeye, and you use Jin, and Yanlu, and, I mean, you can put Arya in there if you choose on your own team, or put Hensuke, or put, um, I mean, any other Honorbound hero, really. But Deadeye is, is a good one. Um, Astrid. Is another good one for a really defensive team. Like, ugh, she'd take like next to no damage. So, anyhow, I hope this helps. Uh, remember to do all the YouTube stuff. Hit like, hit thumbs up, all that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks.